First Timothy chapter four verse eight. For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. We all know that it is very important to eat right and exercise in order to have healthy bodies. However, according to the scripture, our bodies are temples God has given us, and we need to take care of them. So being spiritually healthy is even more important. In order to be spiritually healthy, we need to exercise our faith. Just as we would not expect to be able to run a marathon without training, we can't expect to face the trials and tribulations of life without exercising our faith in God. Exercising faith requires discipline, dedication, and determination, which means being in God's Word, spending time in prayer, and obeying God's will for our lives. Each of these disciplines will help us endure and enjoy the road ahead. Life is often described in the Bible as a race. Some of us run the race well, some not so well, and others do not even finish the race at all. The goal as a believer in Jesus Christ is to run the race of life strong and finish well, and we do this by exercising our faith and spending time with God. There will be times in life when we will be tempted not to spend that precious time with God. Things will come up, life will get in the way, and excuses will start to pile up. But if we make it a priority to exercise our faith and grow more intimately with God through the regular reading of His Word and spending time in prayer, we will be better equipped to face the problems of life. And when we have the appropriate eternal perspective that God wants us to have, our problems won't seem as big as they once appeared to be. The challenge for all of us today is to begin exercising our faith and become a spiritual athlete who runs the race of life strong and finish well. Please join us next week.